when we right click on the name of the player, will will we be able to mute the player to talk about to talk with it or to to send the whisper? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't know. I can't remember if it's to right click. With a right click, no. no. Um, like in WoW. Wow, I got to think about that. <laughs> um, it's not going to work exactly like WoW for sure. Mm -hmm. Just think about how it worked in Warcraft Three mm -hmm. and, and put that forward, because the whole chat paradigm that we did for WoW was really based around having an immersive chat experience during mm -hmm. the game. So this battle net, you know, we're probably coming more at it from what's the evolution of Warcraft Three to start mm -hmm. two. So um, if I remember right. See, I can't remember down the right click functionality, <laughs> but I, I think there's a right click way to whisper somebody if I remember right. <laughs> Putting myself on the left. Uh, could you tell us uh, how much are you satisfied uh, with the game at the moment? I, I mean, is there something uh, what uh, would you like to change that and you can't be, uh, because of that? Talking about Star 2? Hmm. Um, let me think, is there anything I'd want to change? Um, well, there's lots of things that we're going to change still. Like some of the challenges we have right now, um, we're still um, challenged on like the performance side. We're trying, you know, still trying to get it to run really well on you know kind of our minimum system. But that's something where, like all of our games have had that challenge at this point in development. Um, as far as like at a, a feature level, um, no, I, I think we're going to end up being pretty happy with it. I mean, there's always going to be like that unit that oh, I wish that unit would have worked out or. Or there's going to be that level that oh I wish wish that one would have worked out, but it's not generally because of time. It's not, you know, it's like oh if we only had three or more months we could have done that unit. It's just, you know, during the creative process, lots of ideas just kind of don't work out how you thought they were going to work out, and you try a few times, and then you always feel kind of sad. It's like oh I thought that was such a good idea, but it really wasn't. But luckily for us, there's not usually a lot of time-based things that we have to cut. Um. For portraits and uh, for units, how many uh, portrait animations do you plan have for a single uh, unit or wow. something like that? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in uh, how you uh, will be uh, four or five or like two or three? You're talking about for the portraits themselves, how many different animations yes. do they have? Yeah. I'm um, not even sure, to be honest. <laughs> If you want to send that to uh, Kevin, we can maybe ask uh, Sammy. Sammy might know that. That is an art team question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, is there any input in uh, StarCraft 2 that you feel that you've done a great contribution to, to yourself? Um, personally, I mean, a lot of what... It's, um, a, it's a teamwork, everything. Yeah, and I know you're very sure. happy about that. But is there anything you're, you know, something you're extra proud of you actually contributed to that unit or to that mechanic or any ideas you put into it that you're um, There's yourself. lots of things that I contribute to each of the games, obviously. I mean, it, it's it's kind of tricky once you get to that level. I mean, you know, a lot of my contribution to each of the games, I don't really think of it like that because a lot of times, even when you did have a cool original idea, then someone else kind of adds to it and it turns into both your ideas or it turns into the team's idea. And then sometimes my ideas will be just at a tuning level. Like, oh, I wish that we would have kind of just tweak that unit a little bit or something like that. Exactly. And is there any of those that you feel that that was one of my best contributions? Um, I don't know if I have any of those. I mean, I've trained myself so well to not think that way that I, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I think a, probably a lot of my contributions early on, like I was the original lead designer of the game before Dustin became the lead. So a lot of, um, I probably drew up a lot of the original vision. You know, but again, it's not just me, it's just I, I maybe have drove the vision and held the vision. But like, you know, a lot of the ideas behind single player were ideas that me and a small collection of other people kind of had and, and iterated on together. So so that'd be something that I contributed at a very high level early on. You know, a lot of the, the early units were ideas that, you know, I drove with a small collection of other people again, you know, like the some new units. units. Like yeah. well like for example, like the Reaper and the whole cliff jumping idea, you know, with like the Colossus and how that worked. But but you know, even if you have that basic idea early on, it changes so much, and it really becomes a collective idea again. Cool. Thank you. Uh, how many actors was involved in uh, in-game dialogues? Wow, you guys are just going for the, the hardcore <laughs> numbers questions. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure on that one either. That, that, again, if you send these questions in like as fan type questions, that sounds like a medicine question. <laughs> um, sound department. Sorry, sound That'll be a Russell question. Yeah. Russell will know, but. Um, yeah, I'm not, I don't even want to guess, because um, once you include all the units, 
because you have no, all the in-game sh- question uh, in-game uh, characters like uh, talking uh, Reiner with uh, Tehu song yeah that's what I'm saying it's hard for me to, to guess right this second because like I don't even know those numbers for Starcraft or Warcraft 3 you know those are mm-hmm. numbers that the sound department's gonna know um, for example though um, a lot of times a single actor might do several units you know, but like when you start thinking about single player characters, it's always an actor per character. So I would have to sit here and like scribble some math and then I might be able to estimate and then it's gonna be like the jelly bean bottle test where then I'd go to Russell and go, hey, how close was I, right? So, I mean, I could guess, but but I don't know. We can find that out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, sticking to the single player, um, you were already involved in the original StarCraft and uh, so, um, when we see the, the bonus mission and uh, the um, treasure Dark man, yeah, and, and the decaption and um, resurrection four mission, um, there was already some some foreshadow of events. And uh, did you have a concrete plan at that time? And uh, did you stick to that? If you at all, um, we certain we didn't have a concrete plan. We definitely had ideas where we thought the storyline was going to go. And when we did the Dark Origins Easter egg, you know, that was definitely something that okay. We very specifically want to kind of foreshadow what the next chapter of the story would be, um, but we definitely did not have like you know like a written narrative of what we thought StarCraft II story was going to be. So what kind of happens is you know that was like what Brood War came out almost 11 years ago now. So when we sat down to start talking about StarCraft II story, we kind of dusted all that off and okay, here's where we were, here's kind of where we thought we were going to go, here's actually some of the novelizations and comic books that we've done around this universe and these characters. We also even discussed some of the places where we went with the ghost storyline because I dealt with the, the Terran Dominion. And we use that as building blocks to kind of go, okay, well, here was kind of the, the loose idea of where we want to go. And, and then we just kind of rolled up our arms like we always do and started talking about, okay, what are the big moments we want to hit? What are the big things we want to see? Who are our major characters? And then we just kind of collaboratively start kind of crafting out the storyline from there. Uh, can you tell anything about the mission editor at this point? Of the which? Uh, mission editor. Oh, the mission editor? I can talk in... Um, from again a big picture, where you guys start asking like how many triggers are in it. <laughs> um, the mission editor is something we're, we're really proud of. You know, we really put a lot of effort into it, and we want to make sure that people can make all the same sort of mods that they're able to do with War Three. But but in much the same way, if you look at what Warcraft Three could have done from Starcraft, we want to have that same sort of leap forward of the sort of map makers that is sort of things that map makers can create. And we want to do a better job of supporting them on Battle.net this time too, like even through the custom game search, some of the things that I'm kind of giving you guys a little of a scoop while we talk more about BlizzCon. But, but we really want to support um, map makers on Battle.net better and be able to show like which maps are more popular and things like that. Are we back? Oh, back. <laughs> back around. Will it be possible to invite a friend to view the same replay or to observe the same game? Um, you can certainly do it for observing of games, mm-hmm. but we also had that for StarCraft and WarCraft 3 also. Mm-hmm. You know, we had that spectator mode, so you'll be able to watch games together, you can watch the game you're playing, you can watch the game he's playing, so, so there'll certainly be that possibility. Um, not as much in like ranked games, since mm-hmm. there could be cheating involved. Um, on the replay side, um, there's probably not going to be a facility to do that at launch. It's something we would love to be able to do in the future, though, mm-hmm. for replays. As for Battlement, will it be really fully? Oh, by, by the way, though, just be clear, we do have replays. I'm only talking yes. about can you spectate cooperatively on replays. So for Battlement, will it be really fully for free or uh, some special features which uh, won't be important for uh, much result? Uh, it depends on the region, because and but since you guys are all Europe, since from your guys' point of view, I mean, basically it's going to be very similar to what we've done in the past. So most of Battlenet is free, or actually pretty much all of it as far as Europe and North America is concerned. Asia is a little different how they do things. Um, there will be certain features that you know you might pay for, like um, for example, if you look at like how WoW works outside of the subscription stuff, like for WoW we have like server transfers, there's kind of these value added services. So there'll be some of that for Battle.net, but we really want to make sure that you know you can get the full experience of Battle.net and all the features just from getting the box.